Welcome back to Ox Tools. I'm Tom. Um, tonight we got a little uh, little short one uh, that we're doing. Um, I did something with my uh, indicator I want to show you guys that I think is pretty good. Um, and we'll show that. And uh, I got a few pins to stick in the wall, or in the maps, I should say. Um, we're still getting uh, uh, viewer responses from that, so thanks a lot. We got a new map to put up, which is going to be kind of neat. Uh, a lot more detail in Europe, and um, so um, let's get to it. Okay, let's shoot some. Uh, let's get some pins in for our uh, our viewers in the uh, in the U.S. Here, we haven't done this in a while. Um, so the first one, we've got uh, Randy, and um, he's in Muir, Michigan, and. Um, He's enjoying the videos, and uh, that's near uh, Lansing, which is right here. So this is for Randy. There you go, Randy. Oop. Gotcha. Okay, uh, next one here. Uh, Ma oh, that's uh, his handle was uh, R Chop. Uh, sorry about that, Randy. I missed that. R Chop, and he's in uh, Muir, Michigan. And then we got the next one is uh, Mall Tech ATV. And um, they have a little machine shop, and they got a Bridgeport mill and a jet lathe, and uh, they do mostly work on uh, ATVs and stuff. And he says he's going to get himself a camera and shoot some more videos. So uh, anyway, we're looking forward to seeing your uh, your channel come up. So uh, we're going to stick a pin in for you, and that's uh, Jacksonville, Illinois. Um, he doesn't have his name on here, so uh, but that's Maltech. ATV, um, and it is, uh, oh, there it is, Jacksonville right there, oop, all right, gotcha, all right, and then we got uh, Wings of Steel photo, and uh, this is Jeff, and uh, he's in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, which is kind of uh, a little west of Philadelphia right here, oop, got it, all right. All right, thanks, Jeff. Um, he's uh, he liked the uh, uh, the graphical method of dividing a circle. Uh, we shot a video on that, and uh, um, it's something that he's uh, done in the past. So he liked that one. Uh, then we got uh, Pine Boss Chris, and um, he's in Phoenix City, Alabama, and that's spelled F H E N I X, and that's Chris. So Alabama and Phoenix City is near Columbus, right there, right on the border with Georgia there. All right, that's for Chris, Pine Boss Chris. Okay, and um, last one today, 911 uh, RSQ. So I'm guessing uh, this is a Porsche fanatic guy or a Porsche enthusiast. Um, yeah. Only good thing about taking this long to find them is getting to watch them all. Okay, so thanks, thanks, Dylan. And uh, he's in Williamsville, Illinois, which is uh, a little bit north of Springfield, right there. All right, so that's for Dylan. Okay, so that's what we got in the U.S. And we'll shift over to the uh, to our new European map. All right. Um, so. Um, the first pin in the uh, um, the world map um, goes to our first uh, Japanese viewer. His name is uh, Subasa Ikigami. Ik Subasa Ikigami, and he's in uh, Okayama, Japan. And um, that is kind of right about there and there's our first uh, Japanese uh, uh, or first uh, Asian uh, countries uh, uh, viewer there so thanks Subasa uh, Aragato so all right next one um, we jump back over into Canada here um, and he uh, this is uh, Johnny Johnny M 1320 and he's in Orangeville, Ontario, Canada, which is right about there. 
Looks like we're going to have to get a, a better map of that too. So uh, thanks Johnny, thanks for that. And then uh, what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to shift over to our, our new um, spiffy European map. And I'll bring that in to the frame here. All right, we'll plop that up there. So there's a whole story here, guys. Let's see how it looks in the frame. All right, let me tip that down a little bit. All right, that's looking pretty good. So we got a new map. It's got a lot more detail so we can see some of these individual pins now. And um, this map was given to me by uh, one of our viewers, uh, Chris Stevens, and he's in, um, he's near London, uh, England, or United Kingdom. Uh, I'm sure he'll uh, make sure that I uh, say the right thing there. Anyway, uh, thanks Chris for the map. This is an awesome map. And I have a, uh, a special pin. What did I do with it? Uh -oh. oh, of course. I, I moved something out of the way so that the video is better. And then I, uh, I moved the special pin out of the way. So um, Chris uh, donated this map to the cause here. And uh, for that, we're gonna we're gonna give him a special pin right here, and this pin will move around <laughs> uh, depending on what's going on. So right now we're gonna take Chris's pin out, and we're gonna reinsert the special pin. This is the uh, this is the bonus pin right now. Okay. All right. So that's for Chris Stevens. Thanks, Chris. All right. So um, let's continue on here. So we got uh, Jan. Abelie, and uh, he's in uh, Bavaria, Germany, and uh, which is right about this area here. That's kind of non-specific, so that's for Jan. Thanks, Jan. And um, next guy here, we got Con uh, Constantins, Constantins, and he's in uh, uh, Riga, Latvia, which is right there. So we got a couple viewers in uh, in Riga there. All right, and his name is, uh, his handle is Viznes Skikom. Visne uh, uh, I'm having a hard time pronouncing that. Anyway, that's Constantine's. Okay, um, well, you know what? We missed one in, uh, I'm going to skip that one for now. Yep, so we got to jump over to Australia there. And uh, you know what? We can do that. We got this, we'll just move it aside. Set that aside. Hey, how do you like that? Huh? Can we see okay? Yeah, we can see okay. So this is uh, Zarak 323i, and uh, he's into BMWs, and uh, he's in Melbourne, um, which is right down here. So we're going to stick a, a white BMW pin in there for him, for Zarak. Zarak. Okay. All right, let's see if we got any more that uh, need to go on this map. Nope, we're going to go back to our cool European map. Like so. Look at that. Just like a real operation there, huh? Okay. All right. And then we got Michael Monaghan. Monaghan? Monaghan? Yeah, Monaghan. And uh, he's in Belfast, Ireland. There's Belfast right there. Oop, you don't want to mess with Chris there. Okay, Michael, thanks Michael for the comments. All right, then we got uh, Kevin Riley, and uh, he wrote a little bit of a little letter here. He's got a little 12 by 36 lathe and that he bought. He was inspired by, uh, by Keith Fenner and Tubal Kane and Double Boost and Halligan 142 and got into machine work and bought himself a lathe and uh, he's in uh, darn it back to Australia again <laughs> all right I gotta get more organized I don't control how they come in all right there's Brisbane 
Oh, there it is. There's Brisbane right there. Hey, he's up there all by himself in Brisbane. Okay. And, um, what the heck was that? Oh, yeah, Brisbane. Okay, then we have the uh, Nice. Got the Canadian. Okay, then we got uh, back to Europe again. I apologize. I should have organized these a little bit better. I was so excited with the new map, I, uh, I kind of got carried away there. So uh, now we got uh, Van Bilmont Kenny, and uh, he is in uh, Oostende, Belgium, and uh, which is up near Bruges, right in there. Oh, there, hey, there, it's right there. How do you like that? Oh, all right. All right. Okay, so next one is uh, uh, Durbel Dabi, and uh, he's in uh, Rihimaki, Finland, with it, which is uh, just a little north of Helsinki here. Well, we're going to stick one in there for Durbel Dabi. Um, he likes the videos. And we actually have two in, uh, in Finland. Um, the next one is uh, Jaiski, and uh, yeah, he likes all the metric measurements that we do. And uh, he's Jiri Tenno, and Utajarvi, Utajarvi, uh, Finland, which is near Olu, which is way up here. I think we're gonna stick one in there. Okay, right, thanks, Jaiski. All right, you guys have all. Uh, uh, seen me use this uh, uh, this Indicol uh, deal here. That it's got a little clamp that uh, it clamps around the uh, the spindle nose on the uh, on the mill, and then um, allows you to uh, uh, sweep uh, some pretty large diameters, for example, like that. Um, or you can come in uh, you can come in nice and tight and uh, and sweep some uh, some small stuff too. Now, like so. Now, one thing, you know, these are all friction joints here, and you see that one's kind of loose. Actually, I need to move it up there and snug it down. So it, it, it's okay, all right. I mean, I've been using this thing for years, so you kind of get used to it. Um, what's neat, what I like about it is I don't have to take the chuck out, I just throw it up there and, and go, right? And, um, you know, so if you have a tool in there and you don't want to take the tool out, you can use that. Um, so, what, what I haven't been satisfied with is this, is a little arm assembly here. And, um, you know, like I said, they're friction joints and they got little plastic bushings and it's okay, but it's not great. Now, um, let me grab the other thing here. So this is one of the other indicators that I use here. And this is a, uh, a little Noga with the, uh, the, flexible, uh, the flexible base here. And you can move that wherever you want. Boom, lock it, you're done. So this is a pretty nice setup here. Okay, uh, especially because you can, you know, you can set it pretty quickly and then boom, mag base. And, you know, sometimes I use it up here like this. So you can actually kind of do some stuff here too. Oop, well, if you don't let it, uh, don't let it drag on the thing. It wasn't releasing. Okay, so the magnet's strong enough that you can actually get on there and, uh, you know, and do some stuff with this one too, right? Pretty big stuff. So that works pretty good. So I said, geez, uh, what if you could get this arm on this little clamp here? Okay, because this clamp works pretty good and it goes right around that spindle nose. So what I did was I bought a, uh, one of these arms without the, uh, without the mag bit. Oop. Brilliant. Dipstick. So, 
what I did was I bought one of these arms without the mag base. So you get the, the best of both worlds there. You get all that movement and you get the good clamp here. So anyway, let's show that. So what I did was uh, I was going to make a new, uh, a new one of these guys here. But it mounts with a little threaded hole. So I just drilled and tapped a new, uh, a new hole here. It's an M5 hole. And now this, uh, this little Noga base thing will go on there. Let's take this apart. Put all this crud back together so I don't lose it. Need that indicator, so let's set that aside. And then here's the here's a little Noga base. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. Okay, so there's here's the little Noga base here, and we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and put that on. And it's just, yeah, it's just got a little threaded stem, I said that. And then we'll, uh, we'll snug it down. Okay. So now, we've got that. And we can just whip this thing around here. So let's put our indicator on there. Now this, uh, the holder here, oh, let's make sure that's still in the frame there. Yeah, it is, okay, good. Um, it holds a, it holds the dovetail on the uh, on the indicator like so. Now what's what's nice here is this thing locks up really good. Wee! Look at that, and uh, it moves around. You can hold it right where you want it, and you can spin and get it right right where you need it to be and then the best parts yet to come here it has a fine adjust okay let's see make sure I get uh, bad framing so it's got a the best part is it's got a fine adjust here which this setup totally lacks. You have to, you have to fight the hysteresis of this and move it around and pull it a little too far and let it spring back. Well, this you can get it close and then you can crank this adjuster, and it's got a wonderful little uh, a little fine adjust. So we could jump. Okay, so. our little deal here and kind of get lined up visually Something like that And this, this one's stiff enough that I, I can really, I can hold on to this lower part too. All right, so let's get it, uh, let's get it on target now. Yeah, just loosen it, get it up real close. And then I can bring it into contact, whoop, like so. Okay, so like I said, the uh, the best part is this uh, this little fine adjust here, and then uh, we can get that out of the way real fast, and we can shift to uh, something big. Well, let's try that. Uh, 
closer. So I'm just looking at the space between the, the tip of the indicator and just making it the same all the way around. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now this is just sitting here, so uh, but we can still we can still get onto it. So I just get nice and close. Then I'll use the fine adjust like that. Try that. Pretty good. Okay. Okay, so anyway, that's my latest little deal there. Um, uh, I'm going to try it out for a little while and see if uh, I really like it. And um, I'll keep you posted uh, how that develops. I may make a, uh, I still may make a new, uh, a new clamp here that's a little different here that puts this uh, stud kind of on the center line there. Uh, but so far, so good. Uh, it was real easy. These are a little expensive, but uh, they're really nice too. So.